Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I am going to give you clear insight on the next big surprises that are coming for you. Will it represent your relationships, that love life? Will it represent your finances, an event? What is coming for you? I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. Take a moment and meditate on the three piles. Pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. And let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I am going to give you a clear insight on the next big surprises that are coming for you. Is this a relationship? Is this about your finances, an event? Whatever it is, I will give to you what Spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Group one, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So group one, your energy naturally attracts you here to the rainbow moonstone. And I love this stone because it's a raw stone. Uh, so it has not been polished yet. And this makes it even more unique because a lot of stones have been polished, but this one hasn't. But this rainbow moonstone is a great choice for you because this represents the crown chakra. And this helps to promote inspiration, creativity, compassion, endurance, and inner confidence. So this is a wonderful choice for you. And let's see what card you do have. So I can see here you were attracted to new beginnings. I love this for you because you see here with the new beginning card, this card indicates a time for you where there are new beginnings. So that's wonderful. Well, there will be plenty of opportunities to create a fresh start. And these opportunities play a very important part in catapulting you to where you need to be. So it's in your best interest to follow them wherever they may lead. So by drawing this card, by you being naturally attracted here, you're being encouraged to find the inner strength and courage to step onto that new path, to step out into the unknown because and go ahead to feel the fear and do it anyway and create a brand new life. Okay, so this is about definitely new opportunities, something that you have been wanting to do, but you have been having some reservations about some sort of fear. Something's been holding you back, but spirit is saying to step out and push forward because this is going to create and open new doors of opportunity for you. Let's pull more energy. What are your next big surprises coming for you? And you have here the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords energy, this is air energy. This is about the intellect. And again, this is about new ideas. So I do love the correlation between the new beginnings and the Ace of Swords card, letting you know that yes, these new ideas or going to catapult you into this greater prosperity and abundance. So go ahead, be as creative as you can, okay? 
But also, also with good, there could come some conflict as seen here with the Eight of Swords. So as you're trying to be better, do better things in your life, you'll run into conflict with family, maybe friends. There's something that's going to be going on, but you must pay close attention and not allow that conflict to detour you from reaching your highest and greatest um, potentials and your goals. Do not allow that conflict to do this. So Spirit is just giving you um, this message here about this conflict. And I feel as if this conflict has been taking place for you already with a couple of people that are in your life. And you're encouraged to just turn the other cheek and not to ignore what they're doing, but to simply walk away. If it's not serving you, if it's not helping you to evolve, then you're encouraged to let it go. And, you know, sometimes that can be painful, but that is the only way that you do get to the other side of greatness. And also the air energy is representing Libra, Gemini, and also Aquarius in the sun, moon, or rising, or even in those Venus placements as well. This could represent your placements, or this could represent someone that, um, that you are starting a new beginning with in your life. So let's Pull more energy to get even more insight. What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups energy, this is um, representing emotional energy, water energy. And this is about wishes coming true for you. This is about material abundance, even better good health for you taking place as seen in this nine of cups energy. So there is material wealth, material abundance, things that you have been wanting, you can be assured source energy is giving them to you. So pay attention to the conflicts again that you are having with certain people because those conflicts create a vibrational discord. And also, um, the Nine of Cups is representing even good health. So as far as your mental health, you are definitely um, becoming more mentally stronger, more emotionally um, healthier as well, and physically healthy as well. So I can see a beautiful balance between your mind, your body, and your spirit. So let's pull more energy. What good surprises, what big surprises are coming to you? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here Archangel Sandalphon, Sandalphon, and it represents music, earth star, and answered prayers. So you see here with the Archangel Sandalphon here, um, this is your prayers being answered. Source is letting you know that yes, whatever you have been asking for, Source hears you and that is coming to you. And some of you are into music. You want to sing. You want to play music. You're encouraged to put yourself out there because that's the only way that you can receive whatever it is that you want. Seek and ye shall find. So you must have that confidence to know that it is already yours. And with Archangel Sandalphon uh, representing the Earth Star, this is Earth energy as seen in Taurus, Capricorn, and even Virgo. So if this is representing your um, zodiac placements, this is a very beautiful confirmation here in your reading. This also could represent the connection between this person in the new beginnings that you will be resonating with and the earth star energy, that earth energy. So collaborations, those are um, some of the things that are coming to you. Big surprises, collaborating with people on music, musical ideas, writing, writing lyrics, um, and things like that. So you're encouraged, you're encouraged to continue moving forward with this. So let's pull more energy. What are the next 
big surprises coming for you. The next big surprises. And you have here the Merchant Mercury. I love the Merchant Mercury card coming out representing the planet Mercury because you see, this is about opportunities to prosper are everywhere for you. They're everywhere. And this is also about communication. This is also about collaboration, okay? F being flexible with your finances. You're going to be able to do whatever you want to do because that money is definitely coming for you. Just allow yourself to receive it. So you got to kind of step out of your way with worry, doubt, and fear and open up the floodgates of, of, of abundance and allowance to allow your financial blessings to flow to you. And also this is about creativity. So Spirit just gave us that insight moment earlier that yes, there is some creative um, talents that you do um, desire to express. And so the surprises with those are definitely a part of your vibrational frequency here. Being more so social as seen in the merchant card and the planet Mercury. So let's pull more energy. What big surprises are coming for you? What big surprises are coming for you? And you have here the two of cups. I love the Two of Cups coming out, especially laying naturally under the Nine of Cups here. That's very nice because the Two of Cups, it's representing a romantic love for you. It's representing a partnership, even a proposal and a marriage. So this is wonderful. I love this for you. It's representing a new beginning in correlation with the new beginning card. Thank you, Spirit. So just keep in mind that in order to have this new relationship, you must let go of the energy of that old relationship and stop trying to hold on to people, places, and things, and ideas um, because, you know, you have felt comfortable with them. Just let them go. And Spirit has this beautiful, uh, loving relationship for you, this deep partnership where you join forces with someone and you do become one. Thank you, Spirit. Again, the cups energy, it represents water energy. So in the cups energy, we're seeing here Scorpio, Cancer, and even Pisces in the sun, moon, or rising in your birth chart. All the Venus placements, all this could represent this partner that is coming into your life as well. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pull more energy. What big surprises are coming for you? What big surprises are coming for you? And you have here the nine of wands. So I can clearly see here with the nine of wands energy, this is about you keeping and maintaining boundaries, being persistent with your boundaries because if you have an intuition, and not only an intuition, if someone has shown you who they truly are, believe them. They may have shown you in other ways by, you know, doing things to other people. And maybe you thought, well, maybe they won't do that to me because, you know, I'm close to them. But you got to understand, everything, people's personalities are about their character. So it's just a matter of time before they sh they do the same thing to you is what I'm truly trying to say here. And I said I would never hold anything back. So this nine of wands is about you keeping and maintaining your healthy boundaries and only allowing yourself to be around people that appreciate you. Go where you are appreciated not where, you know, people take you for granted. Thank you, spirit. But there's healthy boundaries here. That's the surprise for you because I can definitely see that you've been um, a little more, a, a little lax previously with just, you know, taking phone calls or going with someone here and then it's just not working out. So there are more healthy boundaries that are coming for you. Thank you, spirit. So let's 
pull more energy. What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here the Queen of Wands. So with the Queen of Wands energy, this is wonderful. The Nine of Wands and then immediately following the Queen of Wands. Fire energy here as seen in Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. In the Sun, Moon, or Rising, or even in the Venus placements. Again, this could represent your placements or this could represent the placements of the people that you are encouraged to keep healthy boundaries up around, okay? But specifically here with the Queen of Wands energy, this is about you gaining even just beautiful, uh, greater uh, feistiness about yourself. This is about creativity. You're more feisty with your creative ventures, with your music, with your writing. With whatever you do creatively, you are more feisty about it. And you are gaining even more self-confidence and self-assurance. Here you are this queen of wands. Thank you, spirit. So let's pull more energy. What are the next big surprises coming for you? What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here adventure. I love this card coming out following the Queen of Wands, of course, because this is about new adventures for you. And it is in correlation with every single card that is drawn here for you. Every single card correlates with the adventure card. This is about you um, taking chances. This is about you charting new paths. This is about new beginnings as well. So look at the beautiful confirmation that Spirit gave us with the adventure card. With every card here in your reading, and especially with the card that you are naturally drawn to at the first start of your reading. New beginnings and adventure represents you taking chances. New beginnings for you communicating and collaborating with new people, new sources of income, and this wonderful, beautiful new love partnership. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. In your reading here, I am going to give you clear insight on what next big surprises are coming for you. Is it a partnership, a business partnership, collaboration, a new love, a romantic relationship, your bag getting bigger, finances being more flexible, an event? What is it? I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Group two, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. But let's get straight into your reading. So group two, you are naturally, magnetically drawn here to the gorgeous citrine stone. And I love this choice for you. And this is a gorgeous raw stone as well. As you can see here, it's raw. It has not been polished. What I love about this choice for you is because the citrine, it represents the solar plexus chakra. And this helps you to enhance uh, your creativity, helps you to envision your goals and pursue them as well. It also is great for strengthening your self-esteem and to help to give you a more positive outlook on life. So this is a wonderful choice for you. Let's see what card you have. And you have here, look at this, love partnership. I love this for you. This is the reason. Because the love partnership card this is about you connecting with someone. This is about 
This card indicates a time when a romantic relationship is about to enter your life. And it's perhaps you are single right now. And, but see, you are about to meet a special someone. Or maybe your current relationship is about to progress to a deeper level of understanding and commitment. Either way, love is just around the corner, especially if this is something that you have been wanting and if it is something that you believe in. So let's pull more energy to get even more insight. This is wonderful. I'm so excited for you, group two. Let's pull more insight. Spirit, what are the big surprises coming for group two? And you have here the tower card. So with the tower card, this is definitely representing some changes here. And this is representing you um, being aware of these unseen changes here. This is about something you had to go through, a disgrace, some sort of upheaval that did take place. But because of this disgrace, this is what is leading you to this new love partnership. So there is an unseen um, perspective that you are having regarding this relationship where there was a change, there was some upheaval. There may have even been some violence in this relationship, um, even physical, emotional, um, spiritual, and sometimes a financial for you. But you are seeing this relationship from a new perspective. So that is the surprise that is really um, coming to you. You're seeing it all from a new perspective. And that, that is what is giving you the opportunity to connect with the person that you truly resonate with. So let's pull more energy. What big surprises? What is the next big surprises coming to you? As you have here, the Queen of Wands. I love the Queen of Wands coming out because this is in correlation with you seeing this relationship that you considered a disgrace. Now you see, you are seeing it um, through different lessons, through a higher perspective here because you are this Queen of Wands. You are very feisty now, but now you have lots of assurance, lots, lots of self-confidence as well. Okay, you're very bold and you're very creative right now. And this is truly a surprise for you because this relationship has had you in a slump. It has had you feeling like really down lately and kind of moving, not being really yourself and your true self. But now this feistiness about you is, is very wonderful. Okay, and it's giving you even more self-assurance and self-confidence. Thank you, Spirit. The Queen of Wands is fire energy. It's creativity energy. And it represents the zodiac placements of Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo in the sun, moon, or rising. Okay, it could also be seen in your Venus placements as well. So if this is the case, this is a very strong um this is a very strong confirmation for you. It also could be represented in the change um, that you are seeing here in the tower card in this person where you have been having this relationship discord. Thank you, spirit. So let's pull more energy. What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here, Sekhme, fierceness, destruction, rebuilding. Look at the beautiful correlation and it matches your stone as well. It matches this card, Sekhme, the goddess Sekhme matches your citrine stone. I love this. I'm just going to sit it here because it's wonderful. It represents fierceness and spirit just gave us this insight with the queen of wands of you gaining even more um, fierceness and boldness about yourself here as representing destruction and rebuilding, tearing down those old beliefs of you feeling obligated to someone just because they you have been knowing them for a while or just because for whatever reason, that feeling of obligation, seeing things totally different, 
putting yourself first and rebuilding your life. There's a rebuilding of not only your courage, your self-confidence, of a rebuilding for you creatively as well when it comes to your creative ventures. So let's pull more energy. What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here ordinariness. So with ordinariness, I can definitely see you going out into nature more, planting flowers, going hiking out in the mountains, doing ordinary things because this ordinariness about you is making you feel more special. It's connecting you and grounding you to the earth. And that is wonderful because this is giving you even more mental clarity as well. The ordinary things are the most beautiful things because it allows you to connect not only with your greater and higher version of yourself, but it allows you to connect with source energy. Thank you, Spirit. What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here the Ace of Wands. Look at all this wonderful fire energy. And I just love how the Ace of Wands lays naturally under the Queen of Wands here. Thank you, Spirit. But with the Ace of Wands card, this is about a new project. So that is wonderful. And it's about you now having the urge to create. So there's a wonderful ideas that Source is giving you right now. Great inspiration here. And I, I can also see that there is someone that is coming into your life that's going to actually create with you when it comes to this project or a project that you have been working on, something that is very dear to your heart. There's someone that is going to come and assist you with that. And they're going to be a wonderful collaboration. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pour more energy. What next? What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here the collaborator. Look what Spirit just gave us just seconds ago. Spirit just told us that there's someone that you will collaborate with. And the collaborator is representing the moon energy. The moon represents the collaborator. I co-create to create. So yes, there's a cooperative person, very receptive person that's coming into your life that will connect with you, very supportive. And this person is um, very empathetic as well and very curious. Um, highly responsible person, very insightful and reliable. So this is about a co-creation here. Thank you, Spirit, for this very wonderful confirmation. I just love when we do get confirmations back to back here in the readings. And your reading is highly confirmed. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pull more energy. And you have here the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups energy, this energy is about water, emotional energy. The Nine of Cups is representing wishes coming true for you. So those wishes, those dreams, those desires, those goals, those projects that you have been working on, that partnership, that love relationship. And this love relationship is also going to be a partnership. So this is where this collaborating energy is coming from here. And with the Nine of Cups energy, this is about wishes coming true for you. Lots of material abundance and wealth for you. Even, even greater health, good health health coming for you as well. Mind, body, and spirit balance here within your reading. Financial um, a stability, financial freedom, connectivity. Thank you, spirit. So let's pull more energy. What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here judgment. So with the judgment card, this clearly tells me that this is a situation where 
this is clarity. This is like a wake up call. And you see the judgment card comes with the tower energy. It lays naturally under the tower energy here. Okay, so this is like a wake up call. Something's definitely going to take place, but it's going to be a beautiful wake up call where you are finally seeing things the way they should be seen. You are finally making a decision on like a relationship on whether or not this relationship dynamic is for you to continue to communicate with someone. But please understand that this is a part of your life's purpose. So do be thankful for even, you know, having the opportunity to be amongst certain people, to experience, you know, certain things in your life. Um, you're encouraged to just view it from that higher perspective and to truly appreciate it because it is a part of your life's purpose to lead you to this greater fulfilled love, a partnership and collaborator um, person as well as giving you more fierceness and more self-confidence. So good too, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, I am sending you, group two, lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on the next big surprises that are coming for you. Is this a romantic love, a partnership, about your finances growing, an event, whatever it is, I will give to you and not leave anything out. Group three, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So group three, I can see here that your energy naturally attracts you here to the gorgeous turquoise stone. And this is a wonderful choice for you because the turquoise, it represents your throat and third eye chakra. So it helps to bring you even more tranquility, protection. It represents wisdom, good fortune, and hope. It also helps to um, help you to flush negative emotions. So this is a wonderful choice for you. Let's see what card you are drawn to. And you have here music. The music card clearly tells me that it's about... See, this, group three, this card indicates a need for you to listen to music that you enjoy in order to improve your health, well-being, and your overall quality of life. Because playing, singing, composing, or listening to beautiful music that fills your heart with joy automatically raises your vibration and enhances your connection to source because you attract what you feel in this energetic field, okay? It's all about your emotions and how you feel, okay? This is a vibrational world. And when you consistently feel good, you can make your dreams come true. And music is the ultimate way for you to bring yourself into alignment because it only takes a few minutes to sing your favorite songs or play your favorite music. So with this, this is about some music coming to you. So if you're a creator, a singer, a dancer, anything to do with music, pay attention to the rest of this reading because something very good is happening for you, you know, and resonance with melodies, with music, with writing. Um, so let's pull more energy. Thank you, Spirit. But also, if you love to listen to music, this is a part of your vibrational frequency and how you're going to attract these um, big surprises that are coming to your life. Thank you, Spirit. 
You have here Sigma, Goddess Sigma, fierceness, destruction, and rebuilding. So this is about your self-confidence, self-assurance. This is about you um, letting go of those limited beliefs of, of having a of lack, of not having enough, of not being enough, that's gone for you. What's coming to you is even more self-assurance, self-confidence, boldness. This is a fiery energy here, this fierceness energy, okay? Because you are a goddess. Encourage to be creative. Encourage to step out. Because your gifts, it's what's going to open the door for more connections, more prosperity, abundance, connecting to other people. And I can see that it's done through music. So let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here adventure. So with the adventure card, this is about trips. This is about you traveling. This is about you going somewhere that you have been truly desiring to go. A place that has that you've been like looking on the internet, wow, this is beautiful. Maybe I should move here because of this reason or that reason. This is coming to you. So get ready. Pack your bags and get ready to travel and have a wonderful time. Let's pull more energy. What big surprises are coming to you? And you have here the Ace of Cups. So with the Ace of Cups energy, this is representing water energy. Um, this is also emotional. It is also representing a new relationship, a proposal, a marriage taking place, and also a new baby is seen here in the Ace of Cups energy. Water energy, very strong connectivity energy. And I can clearly see here, that this energy is all based around you feeling good. So pay attention to your emotions for the most part. It's very important that you feel good no matter what's going on. Keep your emotions very balanced and stable. Also, the cup's energy, it represents um, the signs of Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancers. Um, and this could be seen in your sun, moon, or rising, or even in your Venus placements. Um, this could represent the person that you are either in a current relationship in or will be getting a new relationship with. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pull more energy. What big surprises are coming to you? What are the next big surprises? And you have here the advocate, the planet Saturn. Okay, so with the planet Saturn, which is the advocate, it's about how you will align with the greater good for all. It's about humanitarianism. So this is about you um, being like even giving more of yourself to like charitable events. This is also about a very passionate, supportive person coming into your life as well. Um, and this is about you being resilient and outspoken. So I do love how the Advocate card laid naturally under the Goddess Sigma because she is this a very resilient and outspoken goddess here. You're not taking ish from no one. So this is about lots of self-confidence for you and you aligning with the greater good for all. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pull more energy. And you have here the star. Look at this. I love this for you because the star card is about you being in the spotlight. It is about, um, it's about miracles taking place. It is also about inner clarity. Okay, it's about you having this renewal feeling and that now you see that there is hope for you. But not only hope, you are seeing your dreams manifest and coming true for you. Okay, and it's, it's about um, your faith being even stronger and connecting more with divine intelligence, allowing yourself to be guided by this cosmic GPS that is taking you on this wonderful life of adventures here. 
Thank you, Spirit, as seen in the adventure card. Thank you, Spirit. So put yourself out there. If you're a singer, dancer, and don't listen to other people, the naysayers, the haters. People may have been in your ear saying, you can't do this, you can't do that. Trust me, it's meant for you to do it. Put yourself out there. Have more faith. Just go with faith. It's about you. It's about belief and movement, and that's it. Okay, and you will see yourself connect with your true heart desires, that wonderful partnership, romantic relationship, as well as this adventurous lifestyle, helping your favorite charities because you are an empathetic, um, very compassionate person here. You're a champion. Thank you, spirit. So let's pull more energy. What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here the three of coins. Look at this. The three of coins is in wonderful, wonderful correlation with the with the um, person that and the people that are coming into your life. This is about earth energy, physical energy, as seen in the signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, in the sun, moon, or rising, or even in the Venus placements. But specifically here with the three of coins energy, this is about new friendships, new celebrations, a beautiful circle of support for you. Thank you, spirit. Because this is a wonderful confirmation with the insight that Spirit gave us moments earlier about this person um, coming into your life that is going to be very, very um, supportive for you. Very supportive. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. What are the next big surprises coming for you? And you have here the Two of Swords. So with the Two of Swords energy, this is air energy. This is about your mind, your intellect. The Two of Swords, it represents a Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energy. This could be seen in your sun, moon, or rising, or even in your Venus placements. Also could be a part of your relationship. Someone that you are going to have a significant relationship with. Someone that's going to play a very important role in your life. So uh, specifically with the two of swords energy, this is about um, you having to make a decision about something very vital. About whether or not you will continue with something or let it go. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pour more energy. What is the next big surprise is coming for you? And you have here the Three of Wands. So with the Three of Wands energy, this is a very strong fire energy here, creativity energy. The Three of Wands is seen in the Zodiac placements, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. These could be your placements, could be the placements of this person that is uh, coming into your life because I can clearly see here the Advocate energy, the planet Saturn is fire energy and the Three of Wands is fire energy as well. But the Three of Wands is representing teamwork. It also represents travel. So I love the very strong confirmation with the adventure card where Spirit gave us insight moments earlier that you will be traveling, taking that dream of a lifetime, that place that you've always wanted to go, you are traveling there. And the Three of Wands represents travel as well. It also represents commerce and growth and expansion in your finances. So if you are running a business, you can be assured that your business is growing, it is prosperous, it is abundant. Thank you, Spirit. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, I am sending a you group three, a lots of love and good energy.